In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your tires look clean and shiny with a product that I guarantee you already have in your home. You don't have to use any products from the store. You don't have to use any chemicals and it's going to look amazing. But first, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Now, the first thing when you have a dirty tire is you wanna come in and clean off any dirt that's on the wheel well. It's no good having a tire itself that looks beautiful and having this right here look dirty and grimy. So grab yourself a cloth and get in there. This is usually grease that comes off really easily, but give it a nice buff and a nice shine. If you wanna get some tire cleaner, that's fine, but that's not really what we're doing on this video. I just want to recommend that you just give this a good wipe down. All right, the next step is you wanna go into your kitchen and you wanna get yourself a Tupperware container that's microwave safe. Fill it up with one half cup of water and one half cup of, are you ready for it? Sugar. Mix it together. And then put it in the microwave. Heat it up for three minutes or until the sugar is dissolved. Now here, let me give you a warning. It will get very, very hot. You don't need it to be boiling. You just want that sugar dissolved. So be careful, do not spill it on yourself when you pull it out, because it will burn you. When it is done, it should look a little something like that. And then you want to take a brush. Any kind of brush will do. You could even use a cloth or a paper towel if you don't have something like this. And you're just going to dip it in here and then put it on your tire walls. Basically, you're just gonna paint it on like a paintbrush. Now, if you want to do more than just one tire, then you can do more sugar water, but you just wanna keep it a one to one ratio. So if you do a whole cup of water, then you wanna do a whole cup of sugar. Now careful, if you drip on the floor, it is gonna get a little sticky, but a little bit of drip is unavoidable. So it's not a bad idea to put like a cloth or newspaper underneath the tire just to help keep it from getting sticky. Now you can do the tread as well. If you want, it does get a little bit more difficult to reach in there, but you certainly can if it's something that you want to do. You also will have to move the car to get the tread that's underneath the wheel, but if you want to do that, that's okay too. So when you are done, just go ahead and let it dry for a few minutes, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the final result. So this is how it looks when you are all done. Look how shiny and pretty it looks. Now, I want you to know that this is not something that you would wanna use if you want your tires to look shiny long-term. This is something that will just make your tires look shiny while it is sitting in the driveway or in your garage. But as soon as you start driving, the dried sugar is going to flake off and it's going to lose its shininess. If you want something that's gonna last a little bit longer, I recommend Tire Wet by Black Magic. It will last up to four weeks. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this myself. I just really think that this is a good product. So if you want something that's gonna last a little bit longer, we will link to some good tire shiners in the video description. But if you want a quick fix to make your tires look nice and shiny right now, this is a good way to do it. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Clean Freaking Dermaphobe. Hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to clean your headlight with only one ingredient that I guarantee you have in your home. So I'm gonna to link to that right here. Click on that video and I will see you over there.